So the four-year wait is finally over. Day one of the grandest event in world football. And a grand welcome to you as you join us for our live coverage of what we hope will be a game that sets it off in style. Just have a look at it, feel it. This really is the best of the beautiful game. In so a strong start, essential for both teams here as they look to head towards the knockout stage. Yes, and that's very apparent, Peter. Competition football is a different beast entirely. And you have to be prepared to dig deep to prevent everything going south very quickly. So this could be a, a tentative standoff in weighing each other up. I hope we'll see more probing than possession. If you're just joining us, we are already on the way. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Yeah, Nicholas Otamendi. He's a, a fine defender, both in the air and on the ground, and a, a real tough competitor who, who loves a physical duel. He knows how to pick out a pass too, and he'd be looking to get his team moving forward as soon as any opposition attack breaks down. He often likes to step into midfield. Yes, he'd be my pick. Oh, that's a foul, free kick's been given. Alexis Sanchez. Correa with a delicate ball. Messi looking to run onto it. Aranquis. Vidal. Tries to get it forward quickly. He gets past his man. And it's Correa. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team, really, your striker should be the first line of that defence, and, and he's delivering. Mattel. That's been drilled forward. Chile seem happy to let their strikers roam out wide. I wouldn't... He's had a go! And the defence can get it clear. Balls loose, and they've been caught out here. Gets up to head it! That's good distance on it. Correa. Messi. And here's Messi. Hoists it forward. Vidal. And it's Messi. And the shot! It's broken loose. Cleared without complication. Forward tracking back like that, always appreciated by the crowd. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. And it's played forward. Vidal. So it is still nil-nil. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Gets into some space. It was all about the quality of the delivery, and they come away with nothing. Chip through. Fence has got rid of that. Corner. And it's hoisted clear. And here's Corner. Shooting chance! Messi hits it! Danger averted for now. <laughs> Defending of the desperate variety. This could spell danger. And here's Messi. Fico looking sharp there.
Played out to the right. Oreana. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. He's made sure that that won't get through. Forward it goes. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Correa goes looking. Adele drives it towards the front. Forward it goes. Correa plays it long. That will annoy the manager. They're making themselves too predictable here. Messi has a hit! A skipper's goal! Well, this skipper probably feels the obligation more than most to deliver goals at important times. Going into the interval is always a key period, and his opener could prove to be a critical development. Now. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. And they really commit forward in numbers too. It's all very well drilled. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Surprise, surprise, he just keeps on delivering and, listen, we all expect that. Vital. Eduardo Vargas. And now the breakaway. Messi. Messi goes looking. And the whistle goes for half time. So there you have it, a close sport half of football. But it still had its moments and ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first half performance and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain their momentum now and finish the job. Is that a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Otamendi. Orellana. No, no way through there. Correa has a hit! It's come back out! No mistake! And with that goal comes comfort! Martinez did well there. He was on to it in a trice. Well, look, regardless of whether the keeper could have done better or not, Peter, that was all down to the excellent movement in getting into the right position to apply the final touch. Things starting to look very comfortable. Well, with this kind of authority, Peter, why not push on and, and totally kill this off? Vital. Some excellent tackling here, and that one a perfect example. And it's got through. Arangis. Up he gets! Chile are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Chile get themselves back into contention. Our scoring early in this half just takes the pressure off now and allows them a chance to be a bit more patient in trying to level things up. And it's Messi. And 
the counter is on. Hoists it forward. Cuts it out. Tries to get it forward quickly. That'll be a throw. Messi. Oh, real danger here. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Farkas. And here's Vargas. And Vargas! Oh, that's a terrific save from the keeper. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. In for a header. He will be livid with himself. Argentina suddenly appear frail. Yes, from comfort zone to a stage of uncertainty, perhaps, and they can't drift into a carelessness, or, or this could get away from them. Well weighted. <laughs> Driving on, he forgot! He was really quick to react to the initial save, and he has his reward. Oh, players like this fella almost have a sixth sense to get themselves in such great coaching positions. How quick-minded was that? Argentina making consecutive changes here. Martinez amongst the goals. He's being taken off now. Yeah, he'll get a good ovation for his contribution. I'm not so sure why he's leaving us, though. There's no obvious sign of, of injury or fatigue. We have ourselves a real game here. Oh, look, Peter, there's a great ebb and flow to this clash, and it's above all expectations for me. And here's Aguero. Dybala turns and goes back. Oh, he's caught him there, it's a free kick. And it's Vargas. It's a loose ball. Chile merit full marks for their attitude and application. He's one-on-one! -on -one. Oh, shooting chance! Goal! Argentina! And again they hit the front. Really outwitted one-on-one. -on -one. Once more, he gets the better of the keeper. Well, he always had the measure of the keeper there. Such confidence and composure. Well, it's an inspired substitution. Terrific move by the boss. That's how you make an impact as a sub. You know, when most are tiring, you can impose a freshness and energy to best effect. What an introduction. Argentina go into the lead. He's just gone and reminded us yet again of what a threat he carries. Eduardo Vargas really got caught in a trap there and he just couldn't get out. Big chance, corner. 
Chile have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who is going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Chooses to go back. And the shot! Should have put that one away. Oh, and a real chance to pile on the pressure and he'll be desperate to get another. the rest well as contact goes that was tremendous and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net i think when it comes to the area of the palm this fella is definitely no slouch well that has changed the dynamic somewhat no doubt as to who has the momentum here now the only doubt is how many is coming a real chance to break. And here's Aguero. Now it's Tipala. Messi. He's had a goal! Yes! And the lead is free! It is surely done! Now you've got to say, the odds on him missing from there were very slim. It's almost criminal to see a defence fail to identify someone who thrives when it comes to shooting stats. They knew, and yet they didn't need, and they paid the price and deserved it. He's made it three. Quite a day at the office for him. Well, he's been the outstanding player on the pitch and devastating in front of the goal. What a display. What a player. Argentina grab a three-goal lead. It's just too easy. Well, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them, and they're starting to look unstoppable. There could be more on the way. Diving header! Yeah, the delivery beautifully. They've got the finish all wrong. A couple of changes then in quick succession. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's, it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honor shift. And it's played forward. Right through the middle. Massive leap! In it goes! And they are right back within touch! What a super header, dispatched beautifully. Oh, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle. But that was beautifully met, it really was. Chile give themselves a fighting chance, back in with a shout. Aguero tries a shot! Goal! Perfect placement, the one place the keeper couldn't reach. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Argentina lost themselves into a three-goal lead. Well played, he saw that coming. Aguero, has he picked him out? And this is chance! Right towards the front men. And that will be the final act. Argentina...